as a showrunner, uh, which I've been on most of my productions, uh, what I look for in a storyboard is, uh, well, it changes with the type of show. I've generally done comedy adventures. Some have, some productions have very little comedy, lots of adventure, and others are practically a series of gags strung together. Um, how much the camera moves is part of the tone that I ask for uh, in a production. So that's what I'm looking for in a storyboard. Uh, in a comedy show, there's a lot of times where a joke can be ruined by being too cinematic. You're cutting the camera around and I need a clear statement of the setup to the gag, the gag and the payoff, and the resolution, what happens afterwards. Uh, in an adventure, I'm looking for mood and atmosphere. So I want to see a storyboard artist who's using the camera composition. Uh, what figure is very small in the frame? You know, is it a, a it communicates a, a person facing tremendous odds? Well, visually, I see a small little character in a looming cliff, and maybe that cliff is actually an adversary who's very close to camera. Um, the, you know, whether it's an upshot or a downshot or how many people you include it, uh, again, it's all going to affect the mood and the pacing of those shots. So when, the more adventure there is, uh, the more I look for a lively camera. But it's important to listen to your director because the director is the one who's setting the tone. And from that, don't try to use the exact same tricks you've used before unless they're right for that particular story because it's all about the particulars. And after the general story, it's what's that scene about? Did you understand the scene? Not just the action, what's the emotion of the scene? What are the characters thinking, whether they're speaking or not? That's what I'm looking for is who can communicate a living character, even in a still image, and the interaction of the characters. Uh, in present day, you use a lot of flash and harmony and, and techniques that use uh, assets that are brought into production. And it's very easy to just keep that basic character from scene to scene to scene, and he's not thinking. He may be moving fluidly, but I'm not getting into his head. And what we care about an aud or from an, an audience point of view is I think we care about characters. And you need to bring those pencil drawings to life. And that's what I'm looking for in a storyboard. Even in the roughs, you get a sense of pacing and character and energy or lack of it, if appropriate. And that's what we need to see on the page.